with Chelsea's direction, do you reckon it's going to pay off? No idea. I'd be lying if I said here. If I said here, I had, I had, I had no idea because the, the the truth is we won't probably know anytime soon. I think you've got to give this a couple of years to say whether it's worked or whether it's working. Okay. Because it's it's such a young squad, and the one the one problem we had. I, I watched Cover play against us last week. We lost Aspilicueta, Cover lost. Lack so of experience. We, that, we, re, we really do have a genuine lack of experience, and that's that's been a deliberate ploy. I'm not yeah. I'm not asking any sympathy, but that that is a, a, I think Harry it's a major concern for yeah. me that you go into games where you are really looking at t- incredibly talented group of players. Oh, yeah. But there's a real lack of Aspilicueta. I mean, you guys must have seen him play. Yeah. Like, what, yeah. I mean, you, you know, he's one of those. There ain't too many clubs out there that in his pomp would have said, we'll take. You know, that leadership, that real determination. Yeah. That, that So that is a big concern. Yeah. And it all feels a little bit like there's a lot of players just learning on the job. You know, yeah. getting getting through. So, yeah. But, but, this, if he... I think in the in the nucleus of this team, if we get Osman, we still need another keeper, in my opinion. But uh, if we get, not 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 in terms of numbers, but a better one. But if we if we do get a number, <laughs> yeah, Robert Sanchez so, isn't the one. But so I Lukaku's think gone, right? Yeah. Lukaku's Lukaku gone. Lukaku looks like he's gone. I mean, Lukaku, yeah, well, I think he's pretty much now. done, right? He's pretty much done. So there is another space up top. Um, broya has gone. Yeah, that, they, well. he must be clearing the way for another striker. They must be. <laughs> They must I, be. Honestly, I can't. I we can't need a striker. Keep, I can't keep up with them. We need a striker. Can't keep up. The, the reason, the reason, we need a striker. You, the yeah, reason yeah. why I ask you, Condi, is because we need one more. We've only got Jackson. <laughs> only. Yeah. And Kunku, Felix. No, Kunku. Kunku's, Kunku's ten. Yeah, he's not. He's not. Yeah, they're not. They're not strikers. Striker, Felix is like being Felix. brought in for like that left. I, I left don't. Wing. The Felix one, I don't. I don't fully grasp yeah, myself to go. Do you want to be? I don't grasp that. So. It, it, it's it's always concerning for me when I'm looking back three or four seasons to the to the pump of when you were on fire. I remember the game against Fulham. His first where he got the red card. I remember the glimpses I saw in that game, and I thought this is a player here. But I'm not too convinced on on his day players. I feel like especially when you're playing that sort of position, forward position, similar to what you said about Rashford, you have to own it. You have to be the man to go to. And I think his lack of aggression, especially in the Premier League, is concerning. But you can't doubt the talent that yeah. the kid has. Oh yeah, and he's one of those players with that amount of talent. I'm willing to take the risk. But with Chelsea, to, to the experience point, the experience point is a big one. But also, we have to have a lot of patience to actually see if this is going to work. Or well, not. well, that, that's, mean, that's and something we, that we've changed our approach probably twice now since Clay Lake have been there. Mm. We bought all the older players and sold them to Saudi. Well, Kulab- no. Kulabali was a mistake. God. He was terrible. Well, right? <laughs> he was terrible. Abamyang, 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 and Tuchel. Sterling were yeah. driven by Tuchel. Yeah. yeah. And then weeks later, you get to Aubameyang yeah. never should have happened in the no, first no, place. But though, Tuchel, 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 Tuchel had him, you know, he knew it. And, I, and yeah, I, it made, in some ways, it makes sense. Yeah. When he gets sacked, then it makes no sense. Yeah. yeah. That then you go, yeah. okay, no, that, yeah. that, now I'm, I'm yeah. struggling. I agree with that. So now this is like the, I would say, the third iteration of Clear Lake, where it's, it's very clear that we want young players, we want them on, on cheaper money contracts, as well. I think that needs money. And obviously, in the long term things, we're running a good, tight ship here. Well, that's, believe it or not, that's what they are. I know it might feel from the outside looking in. They've reduced the wage bill by something like 50% yeah, since they did yeah. that and that that is something that they felt especially and also another thing I know for a fact they, they absolutely were horrified by was the fact that they let, we let Rudiger and Christensen go for a free yeah, yeah. They, they, that will never happen again yeah, plays going That's on why yeah. they sold Mason. Yeah. And I don't know what the situation was with Connor. It felt like they always wanted out, but he had a year left in his contract. That's why they're giving longer contracts on cheaper wages. Yeah. It's they're not these boys aren't on so the, the Sterling one, the five year for three fifty. Yeah. They ain't doing that no yeah. The only issue Ben Chilwell's contracts, they won't do that anymore as well. It was pre- previous regime, yeah, yes. But yes. but they, nothing like that will ever happen again. But no, again in their mind. No. Do you, the one thing I I would ask you is do you feel like they've missed the trick of not having at least... I mean, with Thiago, obviously, you were doing the one-year extensions, etc. But have they missed the trick with not maintaining some sort of experience in there? Because a lot of these young players haven't seen a lot of football in terms of maturity. Mm. There's certain things where they're going to come up against. The one thing as, one thing other squad lacks is, is experience. Just, mm. you know, or having a splattering mm. of, of those yeah, yeah. type of players that I think every squad mm. should have. Because people have a connection to their football club. They, they they grow to like and love players. So when players are moved on, especially academy players, especially when academy players are like the lifeline of a football club, it's it's emotive, isn't it? And I think that's why a lot of Chelsea <clears throat> discourse is so <clears throat> heated at the moment. <clears throat> but as I mentioned earlier, I mean, the club could be in a position where the squad post the window is a lot better than it was pre the window, right? 
So, yes, it's an interesting one. I know we, yeah, we've been having conversations. I just want to ask Jay a couple of questions. Uh, well, I've said this to you before. Look, I get the philosophy and the idea of, you know, buying the young players before they become £50 million assets. It's all well and good. But the issue is there's so many of them. They're not going to have the development or the environment to play to get to that level. So then they're on these big contracts. And I've said this to you before. I always think this should have been done the other way around. You've spent so much money, such an outlay of money. That's absolutely fine. But you'll you'll talk about the lack of experience. You know, I think Chelsea should have gone and brought a f maybe two or three world class players in the age of his twenty five to twenty eight or twenty nine, and then stop drip feeding these ones, you know, the mm. one or two young players in. And then if you would have looked at it over the three years, everyone would have gone. That's a very clever way of doing it. I think it's just it's they did that more... with Sterling, didn't they? They did that with, with Silver. They, you know, they, Sterling's wages were here. What I think they've tried to, in fact, they have done. I'm going to do is bring the wage bill down. They they don't want players sitting on two hundred thousand pounds a week contracts, so Which, they're giving them longer contracts on, on smaller money. Yeah. But only younger players are going to accept that. But this is my issue. That's, that's the that's but, the scenario they they've, they've found themselves in. But also, and this is another question I have: Are you about a little bit worried about that sort of model? The only way I say this is because of that Cole Palmer contract extension a few weeks ago, look, a brilliant season. No one's knocking him. So I don't know what he's on exactly. But obviously, he, he was on eighty grand, I think, when he was at City. So obviously, got more than that at Chelsea. And he's in line with. Um, Moises, Caicedo and Enzo Fernandez. that's what the reports say my issue with that is he's had a really good season but football uh, players obviously have their agents involved in this mm -hmm. so what constitutes a good season if you're Nicholas Jackson and you get 10 goals and 9 assists what happens then does his agent start knocking on the door and going well look you gave Cole Palmer an extension 2 years more money I think my you know, Nicholas Jackson deserves it, or you know, another one of the young players comes in. You know, Jao Felix. I don't know what money's on, or Pedro Neto. Is that that's going to be difficult? Because if you've got all these players on long, low, low contracts, low wages, low wages. Sorry, but they're starting to then improve, have really good seasons, and they're demanding more money. How on earth is that going to work? Because well, I, think, I think you reward success. And but, I think but that's that Palmer's the example they've done that. And uh, I mean, I don't know. Give me an example where. I mean, well, Jackson gets 10 goals, 9 assists. I mean... Well, Jackson's already... I mean, there's already talk it, about him getting a new two-year contract extension right, anyway now well, because it, of his performances last season, when, right? Well, look, he's done all right last season. Yeah, he did. He weren't do. brilliant. No, he's done all right. Yeah, but, but he, weren't, he weren't outstanding. But, you know, look, players get rewarded. Yeah, you know, I know. Contract but, extensions happen. It's... Yeah, I know, but it's a dangerous way to go down, isn't it? Because if you're... What's it, your fear? What would be the fear that you're... The, well, because it's just hard because, you know, if you're Christopher Nkunku and you yeah. you think you've had a good season, you've got 14 goals... All players do it. If you're... I'll give you a If you're Ben White, you know, you oh, want yeah. to go in. You're, no, you know, no, but if you have a good season yeah. and you, like Palmer was outstanding, right? He, he, he over exceeded every expectations, right? For sure. And they've rewarded that. I don't think there are too many players in that squad right now that can go. No, I'm not saying now. Give me but, a new contract. But, there aren't you, know, many. but you, you never know you're going to have one or two maybe. Well, if, that's, if that's the yeah, case, then me, they feel I'll, as though they've had a good season. I'll give you an example. I know it's really early, but I've always rated him Romeo Lavia. Yeah. He looked on Sunday against City. Yeah. Very good. Very, very good. If he plays like that. Yeah. All season long, yeah. I expect his agent to be going. Well, fair enough. Not then. The, but then that's just my my concern for Chelsea. But how difficult is that to poli you know, police? Really, because Arsenal's different because Arsenal's contracts are well, from what I know, like you know the way they their performance related adults in there. There's always clauses in the contract. You know, they, yeah, they clean sheet, assist goals and stuff. But mm. you know, if we win the league or whatever, it's different. But they tie you down to long term contracts. Chelsea are already players are already on the long term contracts, really, but they're on low wages. I don't know. That would be the only concern because if you've got discourse and harmony and players going, well, he's on that and I'm on that, but he's scored 15 goals and what? I don't know. That happens at every club. I know it happens. Every at club it happens. But and you know what? If, if you play well, you're rewarded. Yeah, if, but, Lavia, if Lavia puts in the sort of performance that Cole Palmer did last season, yeah. chances are we get a new contract. But, um, but that's mm. the issue, though. Chelsea are a club where these contracts <clears> we haven't seen as much before because these guys are on seven and eight year contracts, yeah. which makes it a little bit more different to everyone else. Yeah. And then if they're not happy, how on earth do you get rid of them? That's mm. another. I, well, the thing is, low, because they're low are, wages or not. No, because they're low wages, but, there are other teams that are prepared to offer them more. But but from a club perspective, if you've still got six years left, like Mudrick, for example, right? He's, what, 88 million? If he's still got five years left on his contract, no matter what wage he is on... He's 80 grand a week. Yeah, OK, so he's on 80... So, so we're not talking, you know... There, are, there will be a team out there that probably can compete with that. But then how that, much might, would, but that still, might want to compete with that. But but the you, club, Sterling's the problem. But you're, but talking, but, you're talking about that, right? Yeah, but Sterling's Sterling, coming. No, but what I'm saying is, Sterling's wages yes. are the problem. Yeah. He's on a small contract on big wages. He's become a problem now. Who's going to pay? How many clubs are out there that are prepared There's to give him? That that so way. that is a, that the problem is not getting rid of players who've got long contracts on smaller money. In my mind, the players you've got problems with are the Lukaku's of this world. They've been Chilwells of this world. 
the Sterlings because they're on huge money. So are you saying the Raheem Sterling admission is purely down to his financial I, situation I think rather that, than I, his I, I think, ability? I think if Sterling has scored 30 goals last season, this conversation doesn't play, take place. Yeah. Even with his wages, the current I th- wages. I think if you're scoring 30 goals, I think you're justifying those wages. The problem he had, he's not delivering. Yeah. By his own admission, yeah, yeah, yeah. he's fallen out of the pecking order, not just at Chelsea, but England. Yeah. He's not. Yeah, yeah. He's 29, he's not 59. Do you know what I mean? He's still, <laughs> there's still a player in there, by the way. But the problem he's got is that he hasn't... You can't say he's justified his wages. That no. And that, I feel, is an issue for him because, one, he didn't perform last season. Right? He went low. But when you're on 350, your the expectation levels for you to deliver are much higher than someone like Cole Palmer. So, with that, though, Condi... With, cause of course, there are a lot of young players, and and there was there was an interesting point made this week by different outlets, which were saying that if you're looking at a lot of these signings, a lot of them are going into the youth team. A lot of them are not for that 25 Premier League squad. Do you think that there's lower expectations because the players are on less money and longer contracts, and is there therefore lower expectations on what Chelsea should be doing because this is a club that's been comp- trying to compete for so long. Now you have a situation where you've got loads of youngsters, long contracts, you don't have to compete anymore. Like, what is the expectation no, of Chelsea? I think, I, no, I think that that will come from Moresco and that message has got to be sent down from him. He, he did say he's working with a squad of 21. Yeah. There are people talking about a 46 or whatever men's yeah. squad. It, it, that's, it, I, I, what did you make of that? Well, he has that, to work with a small squad, doesn't he? No, but did that comment, like, because that doesn't, Surely you, that I know you can't. There's a, there's you, you a can't maximum say it's score. not a mess and then say that welcome. Yeah. I've, I've, I've pushed twenty players out. Yeah, but, kind of like, are, but those players will go on loan. You know, yeah. I mean, every every team has has more players in the squad than yeah. than, than, oh, yeah. than but you, know, you right? You said during the week, right? That there is a bloated squad. It's a bloated squad, and yeah. they will have to trim that. Here's what makes me laugh as well. Everyone's having a pop at Chelsea. And saying you got to sell players. As soon as they try to get rid of players, oh, we've got to do it in a different way. <laughs> Honestly, the hypocrisy you can't is win. hilarious. You can't, you can't win. win. We're getting rid of players. In what way? What have you well, the that? Sterling one, like people are saying, oh, right, oh you've, yeah, got, yeah. you've got a big squad. Well, let's, let's trim the squad. Oh, we've got to do it a different way. Do you, do, you rec- do you reckon they will get rid of everyone they need to by, in time? Because last it, season we impo- had a situation. Impossible to tell. <laughs> because there are so... But, but if, if, but if, but if like bro, you're going out on loan to Ipswich, right? Yeah. That, that hasn't happened yet. Yeah. But that, that oh, feels like it, yeah. it's 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 not many oh, so miles you, away, Hugo right? Hugo went to Southampton. You've got your Carney Chukumekas. Right, you've got all of these other players. So those guys. players can go out on loan, right? They trim the squad that way. There but might be other... so many loan spaces in There are, but there'll be players that you would have thought would be sold as well. I I Without having the squad in front of me and without knowing... Who is actually? Do we know he's in his twenty? I mean, we're going to have a guess because we saw the squad against. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, you know, in midweek. So there are going to be players that will feel that they have to lose. You know, is Madawake part of that? I oh, would. Yeah, Madu- yeah, Madu- yeah, Madu- I would. Well, I, I feel he's unlucky not to start. Yeah. yeah. Oh no, no, Madawake is firmly. You, you can he tell he's in the plans. Yeah, Madrid. He hasn't started. Well, the, well, well, he came out not, with um, during the week and said that we're going to work, work with, with Madrid him, to yeah. make him a better player. Essentially, yeah, which but is, he also said about Madawake about his consistency. And it was almost like he was a, one of our best players pre-season. Yeah. Madawake. Yeah. Madawake. Yeah. Madawake yeah. Back end of last season as well. Madawake cutting inside was actually unbelievable. But again, I think this goes to the point that you mentioned. Madawake, you can tell he's a sort of player that. He will only improve if he's playing yeah. week in, week, week out, out in the right environment. In the right environment, yeah. and that means that whether he's not playing well, he's got to play. When he is playing well, you've got to support him. But can you do that? And this is if you have cheers, too boys. many players. Thank you, man. No, this and, and cheers, Candy. Cheers, and that's, Jace. that's why I think I'm, I can't wait to see what it's like in two years, three years' time. Because yeah. if it works, no, if it works, it could be a situation where you actually the the the, the model of football changes. Not, yeah. yeah, like a lot of owners will be going going. Is there something we missed well, out? This is the, this is the issue with Chelsea, right? The the Roman era defined the future of football. It changed football. Yeah. yeah. If you look at what Man City done, they looked at what Chelsea done and said, "How can we do this better?" Newcastle probably tries to do that, but PRS is a different situation. What Manchester United didn't. Now? Manchester City didn't really click into gear for a good couple of years, yeah, though, yeah, did they? Because because remember, they were building their foundations, yeah, really. The first what it was that Man- Mancini, well, Mark Hughes and Mancini. Well, yeah, because it, it was 2008 they got taken yeah. over. So when they had the likes of like Elano and whatnot. Exactly. Yeah. So they looked at what Chelsea did, did it better. Yeah. Now Chelsea are doing this. You're right. It's an important moment for football because a lot of people don't like the Americanization of football anyway. But, but if this was to work, it's going that way, isn't it? It's gonna. It's gonna it is. Well, the, the sort of like long term contracts look, when you get like baseball teams putting players like twenty year contracts. You, at, you know, Abramovich is obviously a great example because what he, they, Chelsea never went back to back seasons while winning. Like, listen, yeah. like, under his tenure, I don't think they ever went back to back. They might have won one season without trophy, but the next season they win. So his thing was all about winning, and yeah. I kind of feel like that's it's different because of Abramovich. But you had Ferguson there, you had Wenger there. Winning was everything, but now 
you know. So do you think Chelsea is natural... Chelsea is sort of trying to start a dynasty in a way? Is that what like you're seeing? Well, so like I, I you're building stuff in like three or four years' time. But it's, it's going to happen. Well, I don't know, but it's that Americanization in football, like you're saying. Like it's look, football's always changing. It's always trying to find different ways. You know, we talk. Look, to think about things on the pitch. We talk about keepers now. We don't think about keepers with their hands. We think about keepers with feet. their feet. Yeah. We think about ball playing centre halves. We don't think about them. You know, tough tackling anymore. Football's changing. That doesn't mean it can't change from upstairs uh, down, uh, on the pitch. It has to change upstairs. Yeah. And all these owners are looking at different ways to spend money to get the best players in. But someone's gone, gone, hang on a minute. Why don't we get loads of young talent, try and develop them before they become, you know, the big money that they need? Yeah. Because like we said, Harry, we say it all the time, 30, 35 million pounds now in football is it's nothing. Long. It's bench. You know, fa- like, Ooh, so sorry. it's <laughs> it, it could be fascinating. And I, you know, Netflix, I hope they're on it because it could be like, you know, behind the scenes of Chelsea. Oh, yeah. Uh, but Because you could see what it was like then. Um, so... But that's the thing as well. If you look back uh, the year after that Roman Abramovich took over Chelsea and Chelsea won the league, you only have to, and I've got the squad up here in front of me as well. The, and I said that to Jace, the amount of leaders that Chelsea don't have now. You look at the squad that they had the season that they won the title, Petr Cech, Makaleli, Carvalho, Lampard. Uh, you could even put Joe Cole as a leader as well. Damien Duff, William Gallas, Didier Drogba. The list goes on and on. John Terry, I've even given a mention there. That's close to 10 players off the top of that there when Chelsea won the title and what, a year, 18 months off the back of um, Roman Abramovich winning his first title with Chelsea as the owner. Whereas I see it now, I don't see an owner, I don't see a leader within this Chelsea squad. On AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.